Okay, question 1.6. A fault plane is intersected by two mine adits. Um, in one adit, the plunge and trend of the apparent dip is 20 degrees north, 10 degrees west. And in the other, it is 32 degrees north, 85 degrees west. Um, use orthographic projection to determine the attitude of the fault plane. So what we're going to do this time... Again, you want to have a north, south, east, west thing. I suppose you don't have to, but I think it helps. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> south, east, west. So, the f let me just write them down so I don't have to keep going through. So, the first one is 20 degrees north, 10 degrees west. The other is 32 degrees north, 85 degrees west. Um, <coughs> so, let's see. S don't, let's see where that goes. So, it um, doesn't matter which one you start with. I'm going to do the north, 10, west first. So since it's west, we're going to go that way, so 10 degrees in this direction is here, so I'm going to do a line to the center there, okay, and just indicate that that is your north 10 degrees west, and then you also have north 85 degrees west. Alright, um, so we got that there. So, we've got our two trend lines. Now, in order, oh, I forgot to indicate north 85 degrees west. Um, now, what you're going to do is you apply the 20 degrees to the, this line, 32 degrees to this line. Um, it doesn't matter which direction you apply the 20 degrees, you could do the 20 degrees this way or this way and the 32 this way or this way. But um, the, the book made a good point with this. If you do them both out, then inside is less um, hectic for when you actually um, need to use inside these two lines. So what I'm going to do is 20 degrees off of this line, which is... Right there. Okay, so draw line from there. Whoops. There, okay. So that is 20 degrees. Um, and then from this one, 32. 32. Okay, two degrees. So now you need to, it doesn't matter which one you do this for, but you need to find direct, uh, distance D again, and it doesn't matter what it is, but you, if, if you're going to use this, this set here to make your triangle, you're going to go off of the original trend line and not of the new line. So I'm going to just do that this one so if that's 90 degrees that's 90 there so well okay hang on didn't like that from there okay and so that's a right angle and then this right here is distance D and D is 1.4, so D equals 1.4, and you don't have to write that down if you can remember it, but why not? Um, and then you want to find one point, so you need to do, you've got distance D here, now you need to do distance D applied to this triangle, so I just kind of find the 1.4 from this line, and then just kind of, so 1.4 is there, and then I'm lining it up with this line here, so I know it's 90 degrees. 
and that's distance D there as well. So you've got two right triangles. Um, <coughs> you want to connect. Whoops, hang on. I have done the 90 degrees on the wrong line. Like I said, you want to do the um, 90 degrees off of the trend line, not the second one that you drew. So it should be there instead. Either way, it's still distance D. Um, so trend line here, 90 degrees off of that. Trend line this one, 90 degrees off of that. Let's see if I can make that a little easier to look at. Okay, so then I'm going to erase the rest of this line. I'm going to erase the west line because it looks so messy. And the rest of this. I'm trying to clean it up so it's easier to look at. And you don't have to erase these. If you can look at it just fine, then obviously you don't need to get rid of these lines. Okay, so again, distance D, distance D. Um, <coughs> that's significant just so you know you have the correct proportion triangles. Then you're going to go from this right, tri this right angle to this right angle and draw your line from, those, from one to the other. This line indicates your new strike. Um, well, your strike, not new strike. You haven't started with one. So measure that. I need to extend it so I can see where it goes to. Lightly up there. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, I've got 75 degrees. So that's, oh wait, nope. Do that way too frequently. I have north 24 degrees east. <clears throat> so that is north 24 degrees east. Now, what you're going to do, um, 90 degree angle, uh, will align perpendicular to this line to this point here. So, just kind of that point to there, okay, line. And now again, you want to take your distance D, which mine was 1.4 uh, centimeters, and measure that from this perpendicular line that you just drew <coughs> along your strike line. 1.4 is there. So that's distance D. Draw the line. Measure this angle, which is angle delta for dip. Measure that angle and you have your dip degree. I need to make that longer so I can see using the protractor. So we have a dip of, looks like 31 degrees. Dip equals 31 degrees. And that matches what I got last time I did this. So there's your answer for that.